Hi there. Can you hear us, Krista? No. Oh. Can you hear us, Krista? We'll just wait a sec. Hi, Krista. Hi, I'm trying to figure out how to get my microphone on. So just give me okay. a second. Your microphone's working. Okay. Okay, we uh, can hear you. Okay, there. Okay. great. Hi. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So, okay, so we just asked that everybody um, mute their mute their microphone. And if you want to speak, if you just kind of wave your hand in front of your camera, and I'll acknowledge you. Okay. Okay, um, and when we when we vote, just raise your hand to vote, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, okay. like I, I just have to. Um, sorry, I, I should have tucked in just a couple minutes early. I worked late. Um, I've got to be out about four fifteen because I have a COVID test at four thirty. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, awesome. we probably shouldn't be too bad, too long. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute now. Okay. Okay. So I'd like to welcome everyone. Um, it's great to see everyone. We've kind of had a bit of a summer hiatus, but uh, I guess uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to meet in person at some point in time. I think it would be it would be really nice to see everybody and uh, and talk. But uh, things are we'll have to see what happens in the next month or so. Um, so the, first of all, I'd like somebody to move uh, approval of the agenda. Um, be it resolved that the Accessibility Advisory Committee hereby approve the agenda dated September 15th as presented. That would be Krista and Councillor Broderick is a seconder. Does anybody have any comments? Anything that they'd like to add? Okay, the only thing um, under 6-1, I, um, I gave Kayla, a copy of my ver um, my report, so it'll be attached to the minutes later on. Okay. Um, disclosure of pecuniary interest or and the nature thereof. Does anybody have any pecuniary interest in what we're discussing today? Okay. Um, can I have an approval of the minutes from June 9th? Uh, Councillor Broderick. And Krista? Okay. Does anybody have any comments about it? I think we spent a, a lot of time talking about uh, the uh, uh, the project in Creamore. And um, it sounds, and I don't know, Councillor Broderick, do you have any comments regarding the council meeting that happened after that? Um, it was such a long time ago, I know. It really was. It's a bit of a stretch for yeah. me, I'm afraid. Okay, I think, um, you know, some of, uh, I guess it's going ahead, you know, there, I, we're going ahead, there were, you know, they know what our comments were. Um, I think they may have made some minor changes to it, but um, I guess we put our comments forward and it goes from there. Okay. Um, all those in favor, accepting the, the minutes as presented? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Um, okay, any business arising from the minutes? I don't think, was there anything Kayla that we needed to just bring forward? Oh, um, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> don't, don't think so. Um, I guess uh,
Yeah, okay. I don't think we had anything. Um, so communications from the chair. Um, so on the 25th of June, I attended a Breaking Down Barriers uh, board meeting um, at the request of Jim Ironside. He's the board chair. Uh, he reached out um, just to so that I could provide some insight into our committee and what, what we do. Uh, during the meeting, I provided a brief history, as I know it, about the committee and some of the areas that the committee and Clearview Township uh, can be proud with regards to making our community more accessible. One of the items I discussed was the recommendation that the committee made a number of years ago for council to set aside funds each year in order to fund accessibility projects. Um, Mr. Ironside also used it as an opportunity to advise our committee of some of the services that Breaking Down Barriers provides um, in hopes of us maybe being more collaborative in future projects. He did indicate to me that we, um, I did indicate to him that we were an advisory committee to council and didn't do fundraising. However, we do recommend um, to council areas that they can, uh, may look to providing, to provide funding. Um, one area that was of interest was the expertise that they have um, in initiatives such as making retail stores and other publicly used buildings more accessible. Um, as this is always, this has been an interest for us in the past. And um, it might be great to discuss possibility of future collaboration with them, maybe um, making connections with uh, store owners that do want to make their buildings more accessible. They may be an area that um, may be able to help with some fun funding and stuff like that. Another area um, that was interesting uh, was, uh, sorry, another area that he was really excited about was, um, sorry, um, a, their direct funding program. And what it is, is it's a uh, pot of money that they allow people with accessibilities, they apply for it and it helps them to get caregivers that they need for their own specific, um, help with their own physical, their own disabilities. But it, what it does is it gives the person with disabilities the ability to choose what sort of, what sort of assistance they want and they get to pay the caregiver, you know, so it becomes a transaction between the person with the disability and the caregiver, as opposed to an agency deciding what kind of funding that, or what sort of services they're gonna get, which is really um, empowers people with disabilities to make their own decisions, which I thought was kind of, is exciting. And they wanted to get that information out to people because they don't think that people actually um, know about that program. And so that was one of the things that maybe in future, whenever we can have, we can get together again um, and have one of our, one of our information sessions, maybe it's something that we could bring forward and have them come do a presentation about it. Um, it was a really interesting discussion. Um, and I think we can probably, if we're looking for advice or information, um, I think it's a, uh, a resource that we can go to and we have to remember that because they are in Collingwood. So just remember that they do service our area and but it was a it was an interesting it was an interesting collaboration and conversation that we had and I just wanted to bring it into the into the meeting format so that you knew that we had that they had reached out to us. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. And then um, the other thing uh, was that. Caitlin, Sorry, Deb. Deb, yeah. where do we find that information? Would it be on the township website? Um, Kayla's going to attach the information that I have, but okay, their so website, good. yeah, their website is breakingdownbarriers.ca. Okay. So um, you can find the information about the direct funding in there. It's it's available to people that are over sixteen years of age that yeah. have a disability. Okay. okay. Awesome. Um, now, the other thing was Kayla attached uh, the independent living uh, AGM invitation. I did see that, yeah. And in the past, we've gone to the, to, they usually have a dinner meeting and, and stuff like that, but they're doing it as a, um, they're doing it via Zoom or, it is via Zoom, right? Sorry, I didn't print the, 
Yeah, it's via Zoom and it's next week. Is anybody interested in attending? It, mm -hmm. the, the first, um, just a sec here, I'll pull it up. Sorry, I only have one screen, so it may look kind of funny for a minute. Sorry, I can't get it up. Kayla, could you, can you share your screen and, and put it up? Thank you. Okay, so um, it's, uh, it's Thursday, September 24th. Um, their guest presentations are at 4.30 and the business meetings at 5.15. Is anybody interested in attending? It'll be a virtual meeting via Zoom because we do have to register as well. Yeah, I'm off work at 5.15 on the 24th. That's when I can join in. I couldn't join in okay. beforehand. Would you be interested in sitting in on the business meeting and coming back with a report? Yeah, absolutely. If, um, yeah, if Kayla sends me the details, sure. Okay. It's, um, the inf Kayla, can you register her? Register Krista? Yes, I can do that. Okay. And so then um, you'll get all, she'll get all the details, I would suspect. You'll Perfect. get all the details once you're registered. Hey, Kayla. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, Krista. You're welcome. Okay. Um, any, any site plans in the pipeline? Or Tammy, do you have anything to report? Is there anything going on that, that we should be aware of? No, nothing, nothing as of yet. Um, you know, a lot of what's happening in the building department is residential and not, not stuff that sh that we can comment on. Um, I do, I do believe that they, um, the building department did review the station on the green, not station on the green, village green, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, the village green uh, sites and, and, uh, and um, they were happy with uh, the answers that they received to some of their questions as well. So hopefully we start seeing some progress there that we'll be able to, to um, see and, and appreciate for ourselves. Um, but as I, as of now, there's nothing, uh, nothing in the works that we would uh, be needing our services for. Okay, great. Um, so new businesses, um, in-person meetings update. Um, who would like to, okay, Kayla? Uh, so just a brief update, uh, back in August 10th at the council meeting there, uh, council passed a resolution to continue the use of electronic meetings as suggested by the province and lo local health unit. So uh, we're continuing with that format for now. Uh, if any information becomes available where we can switch that method, I'll provide that as needed. Okay. Okay, great. Um, does anybody else have any comments? Ted, we haven't heard from you. How are things with you at your, in your neck of the woods? <laughs> You're on mute. Here, just a sec. Can I unmute him? Oh, can you unmute him, Kayla? No, there I am. There you go. And I have nothing to say, but I couldn't just mime it out to you. Um, everything's fine where I am. And okay. So I have nothing to add at this point, but I am paying attention vividly. Okay. Okay. Um, Manfred, anything going on about town that we should know of? Uh, not about town. Um, to go back to the um, station at the Green in Cremo, um, um, I read in the paper uh, or heard on one of those Zoom, Zoom meetings that uh, they're planning to put a splash pad in there. And somehow along the line, uh, we were not told about this splash pad. So um, how do wheelchairs and, and splash pads uh, going to get along? That was something I was thinking about. 
Tammy, do you, can you offer anything? Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, what I know about the splash bag situation is that it was a thought, a fleeting thought, but it's not something that's concrete in the plans. Um, I, I didn't think that they were moving forward with that, but, um, but it's something I can follow up on for sure. Okay, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, just because we were talking about how they were, they were talking about how they were over budget and a splash pad is an expensive touch. Yes, Councillor Broderick. Yeah, it, it's something that uh, hasn't been a, a approved by council. Um, a splash pad would also require personnel, so that would be an ongoing expense. And yeah. Okay. Okay, I know. I know there has been discussion in the past about a splash pad in Creamore, but um, I there wasn't anything that came in the plans or any discussion about that in future developments. So uh, it could just be people talking. Okay. Um, yeah, Tammy, if you just wanted to follow up with it and just maybe give us a a report next time. Okay, does anything, anybody have anything else to add? Or if not, we've kind of um, dealt with all of our items. Tammy? Thank you. Um, I just wanted to, to mention that, um, well, now I lost my train of thought. Uh, I just wanted to mention about the FADS document. So I think, um, you know, the exercise of having Burnside's review one of our local halls, um, it might be time to uh, look at our FADS document because it was the first exercise that we put that document through since its inception in 2016. Okay. And so, um, so it might be time for this committee to, to look at that with a closer lens and with having used it um, in an exercise of, of reviewing one of our facilities that, that needed updating and see which parts of it are, um, you know, need to remain and which parts of it maybe are um, out of our reach as a township. So, um, so I'll be looking at that and looking to, um, to you, Madam Chair, and the committee to, um, to um, determine a plan, the best plan of action for, okay. for review of that. Well, to maybe, to maybe bring forward some adjustments to, yeah. to it. I think that's exactly. probably a good idea. Just because of our discussions with the, the halls, that's probably a good idea. Um, and if we have that done before, um, before the term of council is done, that's probably like, it's a, it's a big task. It is. At this point. So if we have it done and something to go to council, that would be good, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I think so. And I, I think it's very realistic. I mean, when we look at, um, you know, uh, other living documents, you know, about every five years is time to revisit it and see if there's uh, any changes needed or updates needed. And I think so that document is four years going on five. So we're, we're in a good yeah. time frame to do that too. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. Sorry, <laughs> I oh, have okay. one. Uh, someone, a gentleman called me today and I, I'm looking to the group for suggestions. So uh, they are a local resident that lives right here in Stainer um, and they don't, um, they've lost their ability to drive. And so uh, they're very familiar with the public transit, but they were more concerned about um, sort of transportation to get to the hospital. So not in a situation where you need to call the ambulance, but, you know, volunteer drivers, things like that, to take someone that doesn't have the ability to drive anymore. Is anybody familiar with any Red resources? Cross, Red Cross, I think. And um, um, there's another one. I think Red Cross is the one that I'm thinking of. I know that they provide drives. Mm -hmm. They've got a minivan. Yeah. And okay. volunteer drivers. Yeah. Okay. And they also have wheelchair Deb? accessibility vehicles. Okay. Deb? Yep. Um, Red Cross at this moment is limited. Okay. Okay. They don't have very many drivers and they can only go to this area in certain at certain times of the day. And you yeah. need at least a two week to three week window before you get a ride. Yeah. I do know, I knew there were provisions and restrictions, 
but I just, I, they it were be better, a facility but... that did offer it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. What is it called? Is it 211? Yes. That yeah. might be an alternative to find a local that ride. Would be, that would be a good, a good place to start because yeah. they're uh, community information. So yeah. that's a good place to start. Yeah. Um, even telling them to go to their church or to a church asking for help. I mean, sometimes uh, members of a church offer services like that. Yeah. Ted, did you have a comment? No. No? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I think those are probably all good good suggestions. And I think 211 is probably a good place to start um, just because uh, it'll give them kind of a community wide look at what might be available. Okay. Um, okay, so our next meeting is scheduled for October 13th. Um, that's the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> How does that, does that work out okay for everyone? Oh, Councillor Broderick? Sorry, what was the date again? It's October 13th. Yeah, Yannick and me, we're stuck at home, so it'll be all right. Okay, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Okay, um, so that'll work into your schedule, Krista? We'll yeah, I got, a, I got a client booked right now at four o'clock, um, but I'm just gonna see if I can move her to 4.30 or 4.45. I don't think okay. it's the thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't, our, our meetings tend to be short right now just because we don't, we kind of, yeah, I know that's, stuff or, that's great. I'll push it to 430 and then okay, we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I have a, if there isn't anything else, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Okay. Deb and Krista, you second it? Okay. Okay, everyone. I guess that's it. Okay, thank you very much for coming and setting aside some time in your day. And uh, we'll talk to you in October if I, I don't see you before. And uh, Krista will put you on the agenda for a report at the next meeting. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. And great. Nice to see everybody's faces again. <laughs>